three minute rounds. In the blue corner, he is the HMTF Commonwealth Champion. He is the current Canadian Muay Thai Champion. He weighs in at 78.1 kgs with a fight record of 12 wins and two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the United States of America, Danny Boy Bennett. Man, talk about focused. Does this guy look focused? Yeah, both both for pros, seasoned pros, and um, both for coming for a hard fight. Both want the title. Good recipe for a good match. In Thailand, Hong Kong, China, Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, he comes from the Belmoral Gas Stables here in Auckland. He is the pro intercontinental middleweight champion. He has a fight record of. 14 wins and three losses. He is feared around the world. He weighs in at 76.2 kgs. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for uh, your champion, uh, Jason Saito. Wow, Terry Hill, the referee for this bout. Brett Diath, Anaka Jorgensen, and uh, Utai Punakom, the, the judges. And man, the thing that I noticed most from when um, Danny Boy Bennett was down here, the focus. He told me a um, couple of days ago that when he was down here to fight Eddie, Eddie Tongalahi, he was so nervous it was unbelievable and he put that down to his slow start he looks really focused here tonight i i, I think this is going to be a real fast fight because jason Sutty's he's not known for being a slow starter no jason doesn't need any encouraging encouragement to get in there and fight he's a very aggressive fighter but but i wouldn't be surprised if he does hold back a little bit just to get the um the feel of the fight but jason's full of surprises and uh, I don't know how he'll start the fight. He may start it fast, he may not. Very, um, very, he'll fight to how he feels will, will make him win the fight. Well, maybe I, I asked you before if, if the injury to his, <laughs> his good friend and stablemate, Leonard Carter, um, might have taken the focus off. It, it may have just worked the other way. It may have made him more focused. Well, yeah, that could have that effect. It, it could um, have revved him up a little bit. But I believe these, these are very um, professional fighters, professional athletes, and I believe that um, nothing's going to put them off their fight plan. They have a job to do, and they're going to do it. Well, we're looking at a guy, he, he's done some fighting in the, um, they call it super brawls. He, he's come back from Hawaii, he, he fought a man over there um, who was a champion, 15-0. and It was his record, unbeaten. Um, the fight went for 23 minutes. Um, Danny told me that he was held down for most of that time. His opponent, they, they wrestled away, got to their feet. He used the Muay Thai um, techniques, killed the legs, and uh, then went to the head, kicked the man in the jaw, and knocked him out for 30 minutes. So uh, he, he's very proficient at the high kicks. Um, the guy who wanted a rematch, uh, went for three minutes, eight seconds, and um, same result. Then he kicked him in the head again and, and knocked him out. So um, very, very good leg kick. He's um, quite very happy with his knees. He, he thinks he's a good strong knee, and um, he, he says he's powerful. He's got two good right, two good hands. I, I thought his right hand was his best, but he said no. He's, he's capable of finishing a fight with both. And as we've seen with the um, interview before, he doesn't think it's going to go the distance. That's right. Uh, when you get to this sort of level of, of um, fighting. Yeah, you pretty much got everything. You've got good kicks and, and good punches. You can't you can't sort of get to this stage with only having a couple of good techniques. So um, both boys will, will have good kicks and good punches. Well, round number one, the first of five. Oh. Oh. 
Maybe just a slip. I thought that knee had done some damage. Yep, that was, that was quite a high knee, but um, Jason doesn't seem to be too phased from it. He, he seemed to slip a little bit, which, which could, could be um, taken as a bit of a wobble, but I think, uh, I think he's okay. Now the, the fighting that he's been doing in the, in the um, no holds barred, that, that may give Danny Bennett a, a bit of a um, advantage as far as the wrestling goes because he's being trained by Leonard Carter, a, a wrestling champion. But the psycho, Terry Hill says that's a slip and uh, I agree with him. But the psycho is pretty fired up as well. Yeah, watch for psycho's uppercut. He's he's dropped many of men with it, and he's caught a few in the sparring partners in the, in the sparring sessions too. He's um he's got a very good uppercut. So watch out for that. That would be one of psycho's strong points. Well, so, psycho dominating the um, center of the ring at the moment. Oh, good right hand by da Danny Bennett. Didn't phase the psycho. There's one of those high kicks there. Oh, that's it! Lights out! He's not going to get up, Rebel! That was a beautiful left hand! Perfectly executed left hook. Got Danny Boy right in the chin. Terry Hill kills, calls Bert, Bert Porter around. Danny says he's up before the count. No, he says, fair enough, you got me with a good shot, mate. Good to see you come to no harm, but that was a sweet punch. Yep, Danny Boy caught it right at the beginning of the fight. One of them's going to go down. And um, thank goodness it wasn't our boy. He's the, uh, the new super middleweight champion. Well, Danny's a wee bit annoyed with himself. I think he, he left an open shot, and at this level... Um, one opening is enough. Yeah, when you've got uh, firepower like um, Psycho, one punch is enough. Well, Psycho, sponsored by the La Tanoa nightclub. And they've picked the winner by um, sponsoring Psycho. <laughs> and I think they enjoy it too. Japan because he is very likable and um, and he, he deserves to be the, the world champion like he is. Well I know that this belt means so much to him because it's a unified title championship that's what it means he fought Ivan Hippolyte he um, beat him and got nothing for it. Tonight he's saying, well, I am a champion. And um, if, if Ivan Hippolyte ever wants to challenge him, I'm sure that Jason Psycho Sadi won't be taking any sidesteps. 